Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You know, finding the flavor that I like is really important in my home cooking because it's the only way for me to keep on cooking. And one of the reasons that I do not go out to eat that much anymore are because I don't think anybody can cook the flavor that I really enjoy. So in many ways, I have become my own very best cook. For me, in these days, eating out is like a waste of money because why do I want to eat something that I don't enjoy? Flavor chasing is one of the four aspects of my fast cooking system, which also include advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. Now, I think the best way for me to explain flavor chasing uh, is to use my friend Bob as an example of how he does it. Uh, Bob adopted my cooking system about two years ago, and he loved every aspect of the system. And the aspect of the system that Bob loved most uh, is the process of flavor chasing. A uh, flavor chasing, according to Bob, is how you set the temperature of your bath water just right. And Bob said, just think of it, uh, when you get into your bath, you constantly add more cold or hot water until the temperature is perfect. Uh, Bob said, when you flavor a dish, you do exactly the same thing. You add a little bit more oyster sauce, a little bit more hoisin sauce, until you get it just right. Uh, Bob loves hoisin sauce, and he uses it in whatever way he can. Uh, Bob used hoisin sauce extensively in stir-frying, and he used it in both meat and vegetable dishes. And Bob also used hoisin sauce as a dipping sauce. For example, he would dip his french fries in hoisin sauce. Uh, so I decided Bob would be a good person for me to talk to and how he used hoisin sauce in his flavor chasing. I wonder hoisin sauce has become a popular sauce uh, if you can find it on the shelf of Walmart. It is a sauce originated from the southern part of China, but now it has spread to every corner of the world. Uh, it is a richly sweetened sauce with a slight spicy and tangy flavor. Uh, Bob told me that the first time he encountered the sauce when he was still a young child. His parents often order a pork and vegetable dish by the name of Mushu pork. The pork and vegetable often serve on a small pancake that is laden with hoisin sauce. He remembered that he loved the dish because he loved the flavor of the hoisin sauce. And many years later, he visited Beijing and he ate at a local Kentucky Fried Chicken. He was delighted that he found a chicken wrap uh, that was seasoned with hoisin sauce. After adopting my fast cooking system, the first thing Bob wants to do is how to incorporate hoisin sauce into his stir frying. Bob soon discovered the pleasure of flavor chasing uh, by discovering how hoisin sauce will affect the flavor of his dishes. Uh, the first thing Bob did is to understand the impact of hoisin sauce on different food ingredients. So initially, he would add hoisin sauce to everything he cooked, from vegetables to meat to rice. He would add the same amount to his stir-fried dishes, usually it's about two tablespoons. And he told me that they were interesting experiments because some dish turns out great, but some were not as good. Certain food ingredients are perfect match with the hoisin sauce, where some other ingredients not so much. A through these experiments, Bob quickly discovered the flavor of the hoisin sauce. He has learned how much to use with certain type of food ingredients. And his conclusion for him is that all food ingredients could benefit with the addition of hoisin sauce. He discovered that some dishes he might need to use a lot, where some other dishes he only need to use a tiny amount. So here's the first lesson of flavor chasing, is to adjust the amount of the sauce that you use according to the food ingredients. 
and you can use different amount uh, based on your taste preference. After Bob has exhausted his hoisin saw experiment, he soon discovered that he could add other sauces to enhance the flavor. Uh, the first sauce to try Bob said uh, is by adding soy sauce. Uh, based on my suggestion, uh, Bob try out both type of soy sauce, the light soy sauce as well as the dark soy sauce. Uh, Bob said that these two types of soy sauce create different uh, characteristics to the dish. Uh, he likes some of them with dark soy sauce, but for other dish, he prefers light soy sauce. Uh, pretty soon, Bob started to expand his experiment by combining both the light and the dark soy sauce. Uh, Bob said he has a lot of fun because instead of having only one tool in his toolbox, now he has three different tools in his flavoring toolbox. So after Bob told me his experiments, I suggest him to add another tool to his toolbox, and that is oyster sauce. I think most people are well familiar with oyster sauce. Uh, if you are not, uh, you can take a look at this video, which I provide a description of both the flavor as well as the texture of oyster sauce. Uh, Bob said the addition of oyster sauce, like all of a sudden, a new window has been opened to him. Uh, he started to see a new landscape of flavors that he had never realized before. Again, he first started with his experiment by combining oyster sauce with hoisin sauce uh, in different ratios. And he also experimented with using just oyster sauce alone. And he found that uh, with different dishes, different ratios worked better for one, but not for the other. Uh, for example, with meat dishes, he liked the ratio of one to one between oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. Whereas in the vegetable dishes, he likes to have two parts of oyster sauce to one part of hoisin sauce. Uh, he told me that at this point, for simplicity, he is doing the seasoning mainly with oyster sauce and hoisin sauce in different ratios. Uh, he said right now he is happy to use only these two sauces as his main flavoring strategy. However, he continued to use the light and the dark soy sauce occasionally uh, when he feel there is a need. And Bob has taken my recommendation to put all his sauces in squeezed bottles. Uh, he told me that this change make a huge difference for him in his flavor chasing uh, because he now able to control how much sauces that he wants to add, uh, both precisely as well as rapidly. He told me that, tell your viewer, this is probably the most important thing that you should do when you do flavor chasing. Uh, you want to make adjustment to your taste rapidly uh, when you're doing taste testing. Uh, Bob said right now he's very happy with these four different uh, tools in his flavoring toolbox. Uh, he asked me what other recommendation that I could give him at this point. I told him that I use three other sauces regularly uh, during my seasoning process. Uh, one is a fried chili oil sauce, which I really enjoyed. Uh, this is a relatively mild chili sauce. Uh, it will increase the complexity of the flavor uh, without making the dish too spicy. I told him that my old man intestinal tract no longer able to handle spicy food. Uh, another sauce that I have in my favoring toolbox uh, is the sriracha sauce, uh, which I use if I really want to increase the temperature of the dish. One other sauce I find it to be really handy to have hand uh, is a Chinese rice vinegar. Of course, uh, I have my traditional uh, salt and sugar available to make adjustments as well. Uh, Bob told me right now he is happy with the four different sauces that he has. Uh, he said he loved the flavor of the dish that he cooked, and he will continue to explore the various combinations of these four different sauces. Uh, so I asked Bob, what recommendation will you uh, suggest me to give to my viewers? He said stick with one sauce and uh, really understand 
the flavor of this sauce on various type of dishes that you're going to cook. Uh, and then add more tools to your flavoring toolbox. And then try different combinations. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment uh, to improve the flavor of your dish. Uh, I thought they were excellent advice and this is exactly what I would have told my viewers. A uh, Bob told me that flavor chasing is the combination of the other three attributes of the fast cooking system. And he said that that is the ultimate reason that he cook, not because of health, not because of his safe money, but because he is able to cook the food that he loves. And he said when he is at the top of his game, he can cook better than anybody else in the world. Uh, it is for him, uh, because nobody knows the flavor that he loves most. Uh, I'm sure there are many ways to do flavor chasing, but Bob's example was very instructive. I post a video each day uh, to help people to learn about as well as to adopt my fast cooking system. Uh, to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.